Hello, I'm back with another rental review, and today I'm going to talk about the film Dawn of the Dead from 1978. Dawn of the Dead is the second in the Romero, the original zombie dead trilogy. First being Night, then followed by Dawn, then Day. This is possibly my favorite zombie movie of all time, and probably my favorite George Romero movie. Although I've never seen Martin, which he considers to be his favorite of his works. Now Dawn of the Dead stars Ken Forey. Glee, Galen Ross, Scott, Richardson, I forgot his name, and David Embert, so David something, I forget the name, so Ken Forey is probably the most famous actor, who I hope to meet at Texas Frightmare this year in September. The whole plot is, the dead have been taking over the earth after a while, and like, uh, Peter, played by Ken Forey, says, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And they, the movie starts out in two separate scenes. One in a station where Stephen and Fran are trying to leave this new station where they're broadcasting two people opposing sides about the zombie thing. As well as another sequence where Peter and Roger, who are our main characters, are going down into a low-income housing neighborhood and killing off zombies. And yes, they all meet up at to get in a helicopter and fly away. They end up in a deserted mall and they fold up fort and have to survive. That is the main plot of the movie. The thing that really makes the movie stand out other zombie movies is Romero's social commentary and the way he uses character. Like in the original Night of the Living Dead, the thing that's a more threat to the main cast other than zombies are other people. There's a part where a game, biker game destroys all their barricades and lets all the zombies in and they have to attack them. I mean, other people are probably more dangerous than zombies because they're really slow and kind of easy to kill, but if you get cornered or there's too many of them, you're pretty much fucked. The movie is really gory. It's probably not the best Tom Savini makeup effect that goes to Day of the Dead, but uh, the effects are still pretty good. I mean, a lot of times the zombies are just gray. There's not a lot of detail to them, but you have a low budget and, you know, you have the hundred of zombies that have one scene. Then, it's not low, low budget, it's just a lower budget. So, you have a lower budget and you have a bunch of zombies and you have to put hundreds of them in the scene. Just painting them gray is probably the best option, but the gore is still great. There is a head explosion, which was made from a cast of Fran's head. I've heard a scene I won't spoil. And they just flew it up with the dog food and Tom Savini blasted it with a shotgun. And that was just amazing. <laughs> that was just like, wow. And, um, that's, I mean, I love the characters in this movie. The only problem is they have really generic names, so it's kind of hard to remember them. So it's Stephen, Peter, Roger, and Fran. Those are the main characters. Uh, actually, the main actor who is Martin in the movie, Martin has appears in this movie as a Puerto Rican, I believe. He works a lot of George A. Romero movies. Now, I would have thought George Romero said this is fair of his movies. We actually prefer Martin, I don't know why I've never seen it. But I love Day on Dawn of the Dead. Day is pretty good too. Uh, I might have to do Romero Reverse Respect to do all those movies, but right now I'm just reviewing this one. They rented it and we just watched it right now. I really think this movie deserves to be in some kind of Criterion collection, or I think it might be already on it. It needs to be preserved for years and years to be released in every new format 4K, 8K, Blu ray, whatever. I just need to be released. Uh, for a while, I believe the movie wasn't commercially available for a while, so they would do the rights. It's crazy, but it's just an amazing movie. You can rent it most likely if they still have the DVD. Uh, I rented it off Family Video here in Texas in Grand Prairie, and they have it. I mean, the gore is amazing. The characters are great. The story is engaging. The setting is amazing. They do every kind of setup you can do with them all. I mean, there's a part where fucking pies get thrown in zombies' faces. So, you know, this isn't like a 100% serious horror movie. 
and I think that's what makes it amazing. Have you all seen Dawn of the Dead from 1978? And I would like to talk about it, please comment below. I'll try to respond to all the comments as possible. And I'll just tell you guys my movie still being made. Hopefully it gets done by May. Alright. See ya.